Liliano, you are here with Josh Franco. Josh, we know why you're here. What did you think of tonight's performance for both guys? Uh, it was a great performance from both fighters. You know, they both showed a lot of heart and they threw a lot of punches. And, you know, they both gave it their all. So it was, it was a great fight. Now, you were one of the guys who, when Estrada got COVID, or I don't know what the fuck happened to him, but he, he got sick. He called off the fight. You were very vocal about, hey, I'll take this fight. Were you kind of like hoping that it would happen, or did you just know they were going to go with someone from their team? Uh, I was just hoping it would happen. You know, I mean, I was ready, so that's why, you know, I said what I said. So I was ready to go, but, I mean, they chose, you know, Martinez. He's, he's with Matchroom, so, I mean, it, it makes sense. What, do you kind of feel that way sometimes, that just because you, you're a golden boy, sometimes you kind of get the short end of the stick where, you you know, with top rank, they're kind of like, and then now here, they kind of, you're kind of the afterthought? I mean, it's... It, that's boxing sometimes, you know, I mean, that's just what it is, so I'm just waiting patiently for, you know, for a fight, so hopefully it'll be, you know, one of the top fighters, it'll, that'll be good. Now, you are a champion, you would think guys would be lining up to want to fight you, what do you think there's not that demand for people calling you out? Uh, I don't know, maybe they just don't want to fight me, or I'm not sure, but I mean, I'm ready, I'm ready for whoever, I'm always, I'm always, you know, ready to go, so... I'll be ready. Now you got your brother over here. He kind of made a huge yeah. statement against Carlos Cuadras. Yeah. Is that a little weird to like, I know you're proud of your brother, but also be like, God damn, like he's kind of like in the same <laughs> way class as me now. It is weird. It is weird. But I mean, I mean, I, I expect big things from my brother. You know, he's, he's something else. So, I mean. You're nah. trying to be like the Klitschko brothers. <laughs> I try to be like the Klitschko <laughs> brothers. It's, it's good though. It's good. It feels good to have, you know, another champion, you know, by my side. Now, you're, are you back in camp, in the Garcia camp, or you're just kind of coming up here in this SoCal area just to see the fight? Uh, no, I, I'm in camp right now. I'm, I'm in Riverside, you know, training, staying ready just in case something, something comes up, you know, so I'll be ready. So, yeah, I'm in camp. Now, what if it's, you know, the Josh Franco world? What would be the ideal fight for you coming up? I would say, you know, Estrada or Ioka, one of, one of the champions, you know, one of those guys will be a great fight for me. What if, you know, people try to ask you, would you fight your brother? Would you fight him? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't fight my brother, nah. Unless, unless we're getting like two mil each or something. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Nah, I wouldn't. I would, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Nah, but nah, I wouldn't fight my brother. That's, that's just something else. It's not, it's not, it wouldn't happen. Now, obviously, you saw how Chocolatito looked tonight. Is that a fight that you would still like or you feel like... He's just too much right now, even though he already got knocked out before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I was, that's still a fight that I have in mind for sure. You know, I mean, I was, you know, watching the fight, you know, just seeing you know, all the mistakes that he, he was making and, you know, trying to, trying to see what I could do. And, you know, so I'm ready, I'm ready for all the fighters. I'm ready for all the fighters. Now, you do have a great guy in your corner, Robert Garcia. And you had your guy, uh, Ramirez, win last night, your yeah. stable man. What did you think of Ramirez's performances? He did good. Uh, he dominated. Uh, he, was, he was looking good in the gym, so... I mean, he dominated, so he looked—he looked good. He looked Were you good. there last night in Fresno? Or you no, I wasn't. I was, I was here. I mean, I was—I was in Riverside. Mm -hmm. I was in Riverside yeah. All right. Now, lastly, obviously, you and your brother San Antonio, you guys are putting a really—you know—Texas on the map. Texas already on the map. Yeah, yeah. But for you and your brother to be champs, right? Like, what does that mean to you to bring belt to San Antonio to Texas? You know, and kind of make that even a bigger state for boxing. It feels good, you know. Um, Two, two world champions in, in the same family, same same weight class. It's crazy. It's, it's, that's history. And, you know, for San Antonio to witness that and, you know, and experience it with us, it's a great feeling. We, 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 have, we have a lot of support back home and we love it and we're just we're thankful for it. All right. Thank you so thank much, you. Josh. Thank I appreciate you.